Hi guys, Brian Whiskey here, I'm Rickard and um, we have the time of the year, as I said everyone else, I will do the Whiskey of the Year 2022 and um, experimenting a little bit of the scenery here because I have moved so I haven't found my spot yet but here's my cabinet in the background so that will do for now so um, uh, I have some criteria and uh, I have to review it and I it has to be re been released 2022 so I tried all the whiskies that were released 2021 for instance, the Tommy Tool, 16 year old, sort of cask, 92 pointer, and uh, that does not qualify on the list. So we have five whiskies. I will start with the fifth place. And for the fifth place, we have the Glenmorangy, 12 year old, Palo Cotado. I really like this dram. Uh, Glenmorangy has always does great stuff but this one I think is especially very good I gave it 90 points and it's full of you'll know Glenmorangy has the tallest uh, stills in Scotland and it's very fruity dark plums and apricot and uh, I really love the stuff um, so the fifth place for the best whiskey 2022 goes to Glenmorangy Palo Cortado 12 years old Moving on to fourth, number four on the list. Number four on the list is the Tandu Grande Reserva. Uh, also amazing stuff. Uh, at the time I think I gave it only 90 points, but I, I compared it to the Lemorne Paolo Catale, so I had to pick it up one point because it's a little bit better than the Lemorne. It's also uh, fabulous stuff, Tandu. As I was talking about when I reviewed it, it's a little bit of a hidden gem. Uh, I think they do amazing stuff. This one as well is full of um, lemon. This one was very lemon driven in a very pleasant way. And uh, it's sherry matured only, so yeah, a lot of sherry influence, of course. And it's bottled at 46%, and you have unchilled filtered and natural color, so just the way we like it. So, spot number four for the best whiskey of 2022 goes to Tandu Grand Reserva. Okay, moving on. Uh, number three. Uh, unfortunately, for you who doesn't live in Sweden, uh, this is a special release for Sweden. Uh, Sweden edition. It's, the, it's a Glenlivet 18 year old single cask. Uh, bottle at cast strength. 55.3 percent uh, yeah what can I say classic classic uh, Glenlivet uh, absolutely amazing stuff you could drink it neat you didn't have to water it down and still it was the flavors were all amazing the toffee the honey vanilla citrus ah uh, blow me away this one uh, so the Glenlivet has to pick the number three spot on the whiskey of 2022. Moving on to the second place on the list. And on the second place we have, of course we have the Arbe on the list, of course. I didn't include the 90 year old Triban because then I have to include it every year because I th think that's how good it is. It's just the batch variation so we didn't include this one this year, but uh, this one, the firm mutation. I was blown away about this one. 13 year old, they did a longer fermentation by accident, they said, and I really love this stuff. Amazing uh, flavors uh, on this one. Uh, you have the peat smoke, classic art bake, vanilla, citrus, um, and a little bit of herbal notes. Very pleasant. So I really like this one. I think I uh, talked about 92, 93 points, but I, I will settle at 92 points on 100k for this one. This bad boy. A little bit expensive, of course, for a 13 year old, as always with Arbeg. But uh, I think this is the best release from Arbeg this year. So the number two spot goes to Arbeg Fermutation. Okay. And then finally, we have Whiskey of the Year in my book. 
and it's the Bowmore, 23 year old, uh, no corners to hide. It's bottle at 51.5% ABV and natural color unchill filtered and it's uh, been matured for 21 years in bourbon barrels and then moved to Essencia. I don't know if I pronounced that right but Essencia wine cask for the last two years and this really blew me away. I gave this 94 points. Amazing stuff. <laughs> totally well balanced. All the flavors in perfect harmony. You have the vanilla, the citrus, and you have a lot of sweetness. You have honey, smoke, everything integrated perfectly in your mouth. So, this one has to be the number one whiskey of the year. So, you have to take a sip to celebrate. Of course, 2022 is over soon enough. Uh, so, um, hope you enjoyed my list. So, the whiskey of the year 2022 is the Bowmore 23 year old, no corners to hide. Happy New Year! Cheers! Mmm.